our race grid for the right arm up sluice box 250. Let's get ready to kick this race off and get these teams back to chasing the Sutter Mail Cup. I feel the need, the need for speed. Ow! All right, all right, all right. Brothers, widders, orphans, and all you pukes out there doing dirt angels, you're looking live in vintage Mudville in 16 millimeter grid race number one in the black and red 1970 Buick GSX. We got brother Paul Stringham, Captain Pubic, Team Burden, SST 1827, right here in grid race number one. And his competitor in the Sluice Box 250 first grid race. We got a solid brother right here. An ex-champion. Brother Ryan Barger Rhino. Tuleyberg 69 in Team Barger Boys right here. An ex-champion. Had a rough couple weeks, but he's here in the 70 Plymouth Roadrunner Gray. Get on me. Let's get this grid race off, race fans, and they're off. They're headed down the first stretch of neck and neck. They both take that rice bait. Looks like Stream Man has it. Oh, he goes up there well, and Rhino takes it in an upset. No! Let's go this right arm up, instant replay. They're neck and neck down that first stretch. Right here, they both take that right split, and watch Captain Pubic. As he exits the split, he goes the side rail right there, goes up on the rail and loses speed. Rhino swoops around for that checkered flag. There you have it, right arm up, race fans. Ryan Barger takes that checkered flag in this first grid race, and he is moving on for Team Barger, boys. What a heck of a run right there in that 70. Plymouth Roadrunner. You see him right there. Takes advantage of Captain Pubic's mess up and takes the checkered. <laughs> we ain't taking no breaks. We ain't gonna rest. Bringing you grid race number two hot and live right here in the 1970 Toyota Celica. We got the champions of the Ascar 500. Kato Mickey teams Crimson Rhinos 58 right here in this red and black 70 Toyota Celica. Crimson Rhinos lighting up the track lately. And his competitor in this grid race in the Sluice Box 250 needs no introduction, but I'm going to give it to him. The black and white Demolition Man cop car movie car. We got Shady Grady riding for Team Thunderbird. Shady Grady is always in these finals and quarterfinals and championship races. A true racer right here. These drivers are as crazy as I am. So here we go. Drivers, start your engines! Let's get this grid race off. Shady Grady, Team Crimson Rhinos in there. Off. Oh, spin out. They both spin out identically off the gate, but they're back going right now. They're taking this right split right here. Looks like Shady Grady may have it. Here comes that Celica. No, Shady Grady takes it. <laughs> Let's go back to this right arm of Jared Hotel instant replay. They're neck and neck and they bash right there and they both spin around in unison. They get going again, get a little push to Shady Grady. They hit this right split. They're trying to pick up speed. They lost that momentum in the first stretch. They hit that back stretch. Is Mickey going to catch him? No, Shady Grady is going to take it on home. Oh, yeah. What a heck of a race right there, and Shady Grady delivers. Yo, Slice Slow Lone Star, yo, Adrian. Don't make me do it, folks. Don't make Jared Hotel do impressions, but I will. Throw me Andrew Jackson, I'll do them all day long. What do you want? You want Eastwood? Go ahead, Pump. Make my day. Oh, that, that's terrible. Anyway, Shady Grady takes it. I live my life a quarter mile at a time. Nothing else matters, not the mortgage, not the store, not... 
my team and all that bullshit. Just like Dom said, we live our life a quarter mile at a time or 15 feet rinky dink track style. Yeah, that's right. That's how we roll. Right here in grid race number three in the red 1961 Chevy Impala. We got Molasses Ben Jordan riding for Jesse Lee Reno 1422, the king of protesting. His competitor right here in this third grid race in the Schluss Box 250 in the white 69 Ford Torino Talladega. We got brother Nick Golick Loctite riding for the team Lock 40s. That's right. We're going to get it down dirty style. Let's hit it, hoaxer. Start your engines, brothers. Thank you, Hoekster. Let's get this grid race off in there. Oh, looks like Molasses takes a little bit of lead. Who runs him out? Oh, he swims over long time. Let's split right split down the stretch. Molasses swims around in reverse fatality style. Let's check out the action in this Jared Hotel instant replay. They're off the line right there. You see Molasses takes the lead. And then right here, they're going to hit real quick. Oh, tries to squeeze them out. Loctite swoops back over. Great will work to miss that splitter. Down the stretch right here, though. Molasses gasses it and spins around in reverse for good measure. There you have it, folks. I don't think we're going to get any protesting this time from Molasses, but you never know what this brother, he loves to argue. But he takes this grid race right here for Team Jesse Lee Reno, 1422. Ben Jordan Molasses is moving on in this sluice box 250. I'm over here in this right arm up winner's lounge with Shady Gritty, Ryan, Ryan Barjo, and Ben Jordan Molasses, and we're popping some cold ones. Shady Grady's having a cold Pepsi, and we're sitting back in the winner's lounge. Go get yourself a cold one real folks. We got more grids coming at ya. Brothers, widders, orphans, and all you pukes, the action is fast packed and we're moving on in your face and right arm up racing in the sluice box 250. We got in the Dotson 620 pickup, none other than Brock Wiley, code breaker, riding for Team Tully Berg and Puke Bucket Champion of the World. And his competitor on the rinky dink race course in historic Mudville in the Dotson 240Z. This is the Battle of the Dotsons. We got none other than Stretch Michael Vallejo riding for Wall King Marietta 13. Take us away, King. <laughs> There you have it, Richard Petty. Thank you, King, and they're off. Big lead right there by Stretch. Let's see, is Brock going to catch him? No, Stretch makes a new track record. 8.6 seconds. Our first Japanese track record right here. Let's look at this. He hits the left split straight fire in that Dotson 240Z. The Japanese makers deliver right here and Stretch makes a new track record on the Rinky Dink race course. There you have it right there. What a heck of a race. Great driving by Stretch. Hell Walking King Marietta 13. And he's moving on in these grids. The action is fast packed. Don't look away. More grids coming your way, brothers, witters. Right arm up, race fans. We're going to keep trucking on through these grids and get them done so we can get into these quarterfinals. Right now in this 1968 Mercury Kruger, we got brother Jason Jones riding for Team Midfits Crew 711. Hell 711. Have a good doings up there next weekend, brothers. And his competitor in this grid race, we got none other. He needs no introduction, but I'm going to give it. We got Thomas Brower, Motorboat Team 13 in the 66-427 Ford Fairlane. 
This is a grudge max for sure. Holster, only you can get this race off. Start your engines, brothers. Team 13 versus Team Mitz Fitz crew in there. Off right here. Motorboat and Jason Jones. Oh, they both spin out right there. They're going to take the left split. Looks like Jason Jones in reverse. Motorboat down the stretch. Motorboat all the way. What we're dealing with here is a complete lack of respect for the law. Let's go back to this Jared Hotel instant replay. Right there, you see they bash, they spin out. Jason Jones in reverse. Motorboat in the lead. They hit that left split. They're going down the left split. Jason catches up for a little bit, but Motorboat takes it on down the stretch for the finish. Jason Jones finally straightens out. There you have it, folks. We're getting close to finishing these grids. We got a little bit left, and then we're going to be going in those quarterfinals. But right now, we got Motorboat Thomas Brower for Team 1013. Moving on and eliminate Jason Jones and that Mercury Kruger. He's moving on in that yellow 427 Fairlane. I feel the need. The need for speed. Brothers, winners, orphans, and all you pukes doing dirt angels, you're still looking alive in a historic mudville. We got right here, right arm up, racing in 16 millimeter. We got in the white Ferrari, none other than Todd Harding riding for Team Lamb Ferrari. And his competitor right here in this right arm up slush box 250 grid race and in the red Corvette SR2 we got none other than Robert Handjob for team MV1846 Handjob is easier to pronounce start your engines brothers Let's get this Sluice Box 250 grid race off, and they're off right there. MV1846 takes a little league out of the washout, and the left split. MV46 and hand job Rob all the way. Don't listen to these people, Ricky. You're a winner. You got the gift. Always remember if you ain't first, you're last. If you ain't first, you're last. See you when you're grown up. Let's go back to this right arm up instant replay right here. You see they wash out, but Lamb Ferrari catches up. You got hand job Rob going in reverse down the left split. Right here, that Corvette picks up speed in reverse and takes the checkered flag. Sorry, retard. There you have it, folks. We're getting close to wrapping up these grids here in the Sluice Box 250. But you got your winner right there, Rob Handjob, for Team MV1846. And that smooth red Corvette is moving on. Brothers, widders, orphans, and all you pukes out there, you better sing me some songs right now. This is Jared Hotel, and you're looking alive. In historic Mudville, in the 1969 green Chevy Chevelle, we got brother Carl Salinas riding for new team Hell Shalafia 5. And his competitor in this Sluice Box 250 grit race in the Army Home B, we got brother Billy ECV West riding for them team 58 boys. Let's hit it off, hoaxster. Start your engines, brothers! Carl Salinas versus Billy C. West now Humvee. They're all Salinas has got it in that Chevelle right there. A little bump. Salinas all the way. Looks like he'll take it. What a comeback. Here comes Billy C. V. West. What a comeback. Oh, Come on, my fire, goodness. I just heard from the officials. It is official. Billy C.V. West did win this race in the comeback. Look at right here. Looks like Carl Salinas in that new Team 5 car. They're doing good. Then Billy catches up. Then he gets another big lead. Look at this huge lead he built up. But he starts to hit the rails. And here comes Billy down the stretch and takes it. 
What a heck of a race right there. One of the greatest comebacks we've ever seen in right arm up racing. Who said a home D can't race on this rinky dink track? The winner, Billy Sealy CV West, is moving on for Team 58 Boys and that green Humvee. Here it is, right arm up, race fans, the final grid race in the Schloofs Box 250 before we move on to those quarterfinals in the orange and fire smoke 67 C10 Chevy pickup truck. We got none other than Peg Leg Wrestling Mayhem himself, the great Peg Leg. And in this final grid race, his competitor to move us on into these quarterfinals and into the championship race eventually. We got in the red 1964 Chevy Impala modified, brother Daniel Bass driving for Team Skidmark. <laughs> of the finish. Let's go back to this right arm up instant replay. A little bit of swerve right there. You see Peg Leg comes back into camera view. Looks like Daniel Bass has got it all the way in that Impala. But right here he spins out, wrecks out. Looks like Peg Leg's going to take it. But he also wrecks out. Looks like we're going to go to the official. Official says rerun this race, and here we go, we're rerunning this race. Pickling spins out, but he's back on his wheels, and it looks like he hit the split, and Daniel Bass takes it all the way. Peg Lake did a little crazy rotation, got blown again, but hit that split. There you have it, folks, and what a wild finish to these grids in the Sluice Box 250. But we have finally crowned a winner. Daniel Brass for Team Skidmark is moving on to these quarterfinals. What a heck of a race right there, folks. It gets a little wild sometimes, but we always find a champion in right arm up racing. There it is, folks. The grids are over. We're in the winner's lounge right here with all these lucky grid race winners in the Sluice Box 250. I am, of course, your well-endowed commentator, Jet Red Hotel. Quarterfinals action coming at you live and hot. Brothers, winners, orphans, and all you pukes, it is time for the quarterfinals in the Sluice Box 250. I'm Jared Hotel, your concierge for today's races. Here you go, ladies and germs. We have the first grid race right here in the quarterfinals in the 1970 Plymouth Gray Roadrunner. We got brother David Barger riding for them team. Barger boys. This team already has one championship race looking for another. And his competitor in the start of these hot and live quarterfinals, we have none other than Spaceman in the 1981 Blue Rabbit GTI riding for Team Thunderbird. This team has also won a championship in right arm up racing. Two champions going at it. What in the wide, wide world of sports is going on here? Start your engines, brothers! I'm ready to get these quarterfinals off, and they're off! Looks like Spaceman takes a little bit of the lead, but here comes Barger down the back stretch. They're both coming down, who's gonna take it? Looks like Spaceman takes that first quarterfinal race. 
Let's go to this right arm up replay. Right here, Spaceman gets a good jump, but David is trying to catch up. Swerves out. They both take this right split. They're coming down off the split through the back stretch. Barger starting to catch up, but then Rhino gets a few car links for the victory. He's moving on. No big surprise. Team Thunderbird is moving on to yet another semifinals in right arm up racing right here. This team is becoming legendary in our first year edition of right arm up racing. And Spaceman takes that checkered flag. What a world. What the hell is the world coming to? And we're going to keep the action fast and so action-packed right here. Jared Hotel style in the 1961 Chevy Impala. We got none other than Brother Molasses for Team Jesse Lee Reno. 1422, the King Masturbator and Protester. And his competitor right here on this rinky-dink race course in these hot and live quarterfinals in the Black Dotson 240Z. We got none other than David Gingrich, Doc Pukten, riding for Walt King, Marietta 13. Pull that string glory hole. Do your thing, holster. Start your engines, brothers. Let's get this grid quarterfinal off, and they're off. They're neck and neck down the split. A little bit of rub right there. Left split, right split. Neck and neck again. It looks like molasses in that backstretch. What a heck of a race. Oh, yeah. Let's go to the Jared Hotel instant replay right here. They're neck and neck and they're a little bit of rub right there. Left split, right split. They're coming down, tied down the back split. And you see Molasses take it on home in that back stretch of the track. Shows he's got a little bit left in that tank. There you have it, right arm up racing fans. You see Molasses and that smooth Impala is moving on in these quarterfinals for Team Jesse Lee Reno, 14-22. An experienced driver right there taking it down the back stretch. No time to pop a top, no time to drink a beer. You drink them for me, brothers. I got work to do, Jared Hotel style. We're moving on in these quarterfinals. In the red, Cadillac, Shamalama Lama Ding Dong. We got none other than brother David Riera meet for Mountain Vallejo 1846. And his competitor coming at you high and live like a flapjack to the face. We got none other than Motorboat for Team 1013 and that 67 Ford 27 Ford Fairlane. Hoaxter, get these brothers off. Start your engines, brothers. Here we go. Let's get this quarterfinal off. And they're off right there. We see Meat take a lead right there in that Cadillac. But here comes Motorboat down the back stretch. Motorboat on the stretch. Motorboat with big gas to the finish. I think I see Meat right there. Yeah, you can see Meat giving a little hand signal to Motorboat as I passed him down the track. Let's go to this right arm up instant replay. Left split, right split. Coming down the back of the stretch. Right here is where Motorboat finds that gas pedal. You see right there, Motorboat take the checkered flag out the end of the race. These experienced drivers know how to do it. You don't want to put it all out there on the line. You got to save a little bit for that backstretch to take it on home. And Motorboat Team 1013 is moving on into them semifinals in this right arm up racing sluice box 250. I said brothers, and I said winners, and I'm not talking to you pukes, don't I beat me. Right here, moving on in this next quarterfinal, we got brother Nathan Louisiana riding for Team 58, boys, and that green Humvee. I think I'm going to need that Humvee in San Francisco where I'm working with all those nutballs. Keep the gas pedal down and just roll through. Well, never mind. Let's not talk politics. Right here is competitor coming at you in this 1961 modified Chevy Impala. Riding for Team Skidmark, brother Steve McMartin. Let's get this race on. Glory hole, pull the string. Hulkster, do your thing. Start your engines, brothers. 
Let's get this last quarterfinal race off, and they're off their neck and neck. Steaming Martin spins out. Here comes Nathan Luiz at it down the stretch for the victory. He wrecks. He wrecks. Let's take a close look. Looks like he might have that victory by just a nose. And let's go back up the track, and we see brother Steve McMartin Rex out for Team Skidmark. <laughs> You hear it straight from our official. 58 boys, take the checker flag. Nathan, Louisiana, by a nose. But brother Nathan, Louisiana, don't care. He's trucking to the finish. And you see right there, he wrecks out. But he takes that checker flag by the skin of their teeth. Brother Nathan, Louisiana, and them 58 boys in that green home B. They're moving on. And guess what, race fans? That's right. That's it of the quarterfinals. We're moving on to these semifinals. You see them 58 boys and Brother Nathan, Louisiana, takes that checkered flag in this quarterfinal final race. And that's it, folks. There you have it, race fans. We're that much closer to crowning a champion in the Sluice Box 250. That's the end of the quarterfinals. We're moving on to them semifinals with Jared Hotel and Ride Arm Up Racing. Here it is, Ride Arm Up Race fans. Finally time, Sluice Box 250. The start of the semifinals along with Jared Hotel. Let's kick these semifinals off the right arm up high in the sky style. Of course, in the 1961 Chevy Impala Red, we got none other than Molasses riding for Jesse Lee Reno. 1422, lighting up the track again. And his competitor matching up here in this semifinals in the Sluice Box 250. We've got a core Shady Grady and the black and white 1993 Movie Man demolition car riding for Team Thunderbird. These drivers are as crazy as I am. So here we go. Drivers, start your engines. Let's get this semi-final off and they're off. They're neck and neck down the first stretch. Malachi takes a little lead spin draw. Malachi squeezes in that right split in reverse. I think he takes it. He does take it. Let's go back to this Jared Hotel instant replay. Right here, you see their head neck and neck down there. They hit this right split and watch Malachi spin around and then will his way through that split. What a heck a piece of driving right there for Malachi in 1422 and takes that checkered flag. There you go, race fans. You're going to be seeing Molasses Ben Jordan in the finals in that red 1961 Chevy Impala. Riding for Jesse Lee Reno, 1422. Let's find out who he's racing now. <laughs> Here it is, the last semi-final race before we get on to those finals and see who's the champion in the right arm up sluice box 250. We got a course in the green home B, Billy ECV West, riding for them 58 boys. Let's get these good old boys on the road. Just a good old boy. And his competitor in this semi-final grudge match in the yellow 427 Ford Fairling. No introduction needed, but I'll sure as hell give it because that's why I get them Jacksons. Motorboat, Team 13, Thomas Brower. Do your thing, Holter. Start your engines, brothers. Let's get this semi-final off. The gate is up and they're off. They're off neck and neck. Brown takes a lead. Billy ECV West hits that plate. He takes a little bit of lead. Headed down the stretch. Who's going to take it? Oh, Brower wrecks out. 10 13 wrecks out. A little nudge and bump. No, he didn't slam it. He didn't bump you. He didn't nudge you. He rubbed you. And rubbing son is racing. Let's go back to this right arm up replay. Look at right here. He swoops around, takes the lead, but then gets quarter pounded by C West down the left spit. Here comes Billy hitting it. Brower's trying to catch up. Billy all the way to the checkered flag, and Brower ends up on his lid. 
There you have it, folks. We got a finals coming at you. You're going to see them 58 boys and Molasses 1422 in the right arm of Sluicebox 250 finals in 16 millimeter. I'm, of course, Jared Hotel. It is time, race fans. The finals, the moment you've been waiting for all week long. Let's get it on live in historic Mudville, the 250 Sluice Box Finals. Over here, of course, in the green Humvee, we got right in for the 58 boys, Nathan, Louisiana, in these finals right here. These boys have been lighting it up in that Humvee all weekend long. His competitor trying to reach up and grab down that trophy and become a champion. Finally, we got, of course, Ben Jordan Molasses riding for Jesse Lee Reno 1422, folks. It is time for the final. Start your engines, brothers! Let's get these finals off right here. They're off. Molasses. Nathan, Louisiana. Molasses has a lead. They hit the left split. Looks like Molasses is going to be your champion. Wow. What happened? What happened? I didn't catch what happened. Did, was it wet? Was it Nathan? Was it Molasses? Here's our official. Our official says Nathan Louisiana won. He said no, ain't Nathan Louisiana won. I gotta see this replay. Oh my god. We're going down. They go off the gate. Okay, Molasses has the lead right here. He's going really fast, almost loses control. Hits the left split. They're going out of left split down the back stretch. What happens here? Molasses fell off the track. Molasses flew off the track. Molasses flew off the track right before the finish. And Nathan Louisiana crosses that checkered flag. Oh my God. Nathan Louisiana, your champion with Billy ECB West team. Oh, what a great championship race right here. There you have it. Those 58 boys take that sluice. Box 250. There you have it, right arm race fans. What a heck of an event. And we have the champions, Nathan Louisiana, Bill ECV West. The 58 boys are the champions of the sluice box 250. Thank you for watching. I'm Jared Hotel, giving you goodbye, honey.